Alaskan Malamute vs Siberian Husky Either you're a dog lover or you know a little bit about them, but it's never easy to tell the difference between the two breeds, especially when both of these are very similar and sometimes they can look physically identical. Welcome to Dog Lore everybody! Today we're taking a look at two breeds that are very similar to each other with just a handful of differences – the Alaskan Malamute and the Siberian Husky. We'll look at both similarities and differences and we'll tell you which one is a better suit for family life in case you're looking to adopt one of them. Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive the latest videos to keep updated. Also, can you tell us which other breeds are very similar to each other, like these two? Tell us if you want to cover the other similar breeds in another video. The differences between the Alaskan Malamute and the Siberian Husky have historical roots for both breeds. Malamutes are reported to go back since Western Alaska in the 19th century. It's said that they were bred by the Inuit tribe, in which Malamutes were an important part because of their obedient nature and obvious characteristics that made them ideal sled and hunting dogs. They were used to hunt seals, protect the tribe from polar bears and pull sleds with supplies. Huskies, on the other hand, are a very ancient breed and their origins are not known with accuracy. The oldest reports put them as sled dogs for the Chukchi tribe in Siberia. Later on, husky dogs were respected and fed almost like an equal part of the tribe due to their capability of resisting long journeys and hunting prey, not to mention the fact they sometimes acted as warm and comfortable beds for children. The main difference between them history-wise is that the Malamute was bred to haul weight while the husky was bred to race. The Malamute more often worked alone, whereas the husky would often work in a team of dogs. When it comes to the physical aspects, the Malamute takes the cake as a way bigger, robust and muscular breed than the Husky. A male Malamute reaches 25 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs between 85 and 100 pounds. Females are a bit shorter, standing 23 inches with an ideal weight of around 75 pounds. It's not unusual to encounter giant Malamutes that reach over 140 pounds, although they tend to suffer from hip dysplasia if they weigh too much. Because of their heavier and more solid body, Malamutes are considered more resistant and stronger than Huskies. Huskies reach smaller average sizes, with males standing between 21 and 23 and a half inches high, while females are around 20 to 22 inches. Male Huskies' average weight is around 45 to 60 pounds, and females' average weight is about 10 pounds less than males. For this, Huskies are considered to be more agile and quicker carrying their weight compared to Malamutes. Now that you know this, do you think you can identify which breed is which if you encounter them both? How about right now? You'll have to be quick because we need to continue the video. Go! Comment below which side you think the Husky and the Malamute are. The Siberian Husky has a longer lifespan with an average of 12 to 15 years compared to the average lifespan of 9 to 12 years for the Malamute. The diseases most likely to appear in both of these breeds are hip, eye and blood related. Blood clotting disorders along with hip dysplasia and eye issues are common diseases for Malamutes. They can also suffer from obesity and abdominal distension, which is a medical condition in which excess gas accumulates in the gastrointestinal tract, causing abdominal distension or expansion. This is a matter in which Huskies stand a little better because they're generally a healthy breed. However, like all dogs of their size, they could also suffer from setbacks in their hips like dysplasia. Eye cataracts may also appear, so be sure to check your husky's eyes every now and then. Their health could be compromised if they move to warm places or if they perform exercises with high temperatures. Remember, if you're considering having either of these breeds, it's better for your future puppy if you're watching this video with a coat or a sweater on. If you're watching this video to decide which breed you should get, and if you're a person who can't stand seeing or getting hair everywhere in the house, then neither of these breeds are for you, since both of them shed a lot. Both Siberian Huskies and Alaskan Malamute share a thick double layer coat, and this is why in the previous point we recommend keeping these dogs in cold climates. Both of the breeds can be bathed as frequently as weekly, up to no longer than six weeks. For both breeds, regular brushing is required twice a week. Both of them shed their fur twice a year, fall and spring, and in between, as we said, usually you'll find your clothes filled with dog hair. So think otherwise if this will be a trouble for you, or invest in a good vacuum cleaner if you're still deciding to adopt one of them. Both Malamutes and Huskies are affectionate and friendly dogs, and neither of them should be considered to be very effective guard dogs, as they generally aren't suspicious of strangers. If one of these breeds is in your home, he could appear as a ferocious bodyguard for the family, but that's pretty much it. 
Both of them have pack mentality, but huskies are considered to be more comfortable around other dogs than alone. For Malamutes, this can also be true, but there have been more reports of Malamutes being perfectly fine being the only dog in the household. However, they can be just a bit more dependent than huskies. This means that while both dogs enjoy more playing and exercising with their owners, huskies are a little more independent and they sometimes can wander off a bit, whereas an Alaskan Malamute would want to be part of any activity involving humans. Both breeds tend to howl more than they bark. Usually, huskies do this more often when they're excited or when they're left alone, and although Malamutes have less of a vocal reputation, they're still likely to be a loud dog. Fortunately, you can reduce the likelihood of your puppy growing into a noisy adult by never rewarding their conversation. You might get away with a quieter home. Huskies are known to be more intelligent than Malamutes, but it doesn't always mean that you'll have a better time training them. You see, a more intelligent dog is capable of taking both good habits and bad habits quickly. Not only this, sometimes, but not always, an intelligent dog will try to outsmart you, showing themselves very stubborn. This breed is not well suited for first-time owners because they need a firm hand capable of giving clear instructions without hesitating. For newbies, it'll be a bit of a challenge to establish him or herself as the alpha of the home, which is something crucial in the training of both a husky and a malamute. Even though huskies are more intelligent, malamutes are not dumb dogs in any form. They are pack dogs eager to be in charge, so the moment they see an opening to take charge, they'll take it without hesitating. They also need a persistent hand capable of establishing limits and boundaries to their dog. Also, they're incredibly friendly dogs and will maintain their playful and inquisitive puppy nature well into adult life. This friendly nature, however, doesn't always extend to other dogs. They may turn dominant and aggressive towards the same sex, so you shouldn't keep more than one male. Huskies are friendlier towards other dogs. Both breeds require more than regular exercise, so we cannot recommend enough to get one of these breeds only if you're an active person. They enjoy being mentally challenged through activities, playing in wide open spaces and taking long walks and sometimes runs. That's right, both of these breeds enjoy the heck out of running. Both dogs need jogging, hiking and even sled pulling for some miles and tire you out. A husky or a malamute without regular exercise often gets bored, which leads to destructive and undesirable behavior. Between both of them, malamutes are a calmer breed indoors than the husky, and if you're going to spend a lot of hours inside, which again is not ideal, you might want to keep the malamute, because a husky has more chances to tear the place up than a malamute. So, which one makes a better pet? Now we know there can't be a right answer for this, because many dogs of both breeds are good pets, and every dog is different. Early training, socialization, patience and determination to give clear instructions are vital to make these dogs as proper pets for the owner. This being said, we consider that the Husky in general makes a better fit to be a house pet. Now, you'll always have some people that say one breed is intrinsically better than another, but we hope this was a big help to you. Remember to comment below what you thought about this video and what topics you want us to talk about in the future. Till next time.